Disc or something in July. I'm not sure of the exact date of SmashCon, but. Uh, uh, SmashCon, uh, I think this year it's in uh, August. August, right? Yeah. yeah. All right, anyway, so we actually have a match going. I don't know if they're just warming up. It looks like it. Yeah, just quickly and warming. Uh, this is going to be between. Uh, apparently, his name is not pronounced Chow. It's. It's, uh, I thought it was pronounced Chow, but it's definitely not Chow. Oh, um, I thought the I was before the A. That's yeah. maybe Kai Ao or something, I don't know. Yeah, well, I, I'll have to get Steph here to, to confirm. Uh, figure out uh, the, the name. Yeah. Um. So I guess I'll uh, do a bit of you know matchup discussion to start off with. Um, Donkey Kong against Pikachu, usually heavily favored in Pikachu's favor. Um, just doing a bit of uh, matchup discussion here. Uh, Donkey Kong versus Pikachu, you know, it's usually heavily favored for Pikachu. Does that sound better? Okay. Yeah, you know. And, and you can see why the, the staunch difference from a, from a pure tier standing alone. But we've seen actually some really interesting uh, matches, haven't we, involving Donkey Kong's and Pikachu in uh, in most recent history? I believe it was Tacos. Yep. Was taking out the DK against Kirigaroki, and I think he, if I'm not mistaken, he took a game off, or maybe he made it really close. I can't. It, it was close. It was yeah. very close. Uh, last stock, I believe. But man, just just that, that those first openings. It was so scary, and he, he made TK look almost like a very tournament viable character in those opening <laughs> segments. But right now we're seeing just some of the limitations that a character like Donkey Kong really has. Kyle so far has just been blowing up this initial stock, and I think he's going to be laying waste to this next one momentarily. He has to find out one of Doc a way around Donkey Kong's key advantage here, which is his massive hitboxes. Right. Um, slow character, massive hitboxes though to compensate. Um, and playing on Dreamland only helps this character so much as well because he can cancel out uh, some of that end lag on those aerials on these low platforms. Absolutely. Um, you know, he's not a very fast character and anytime you can speed up, speed him up with platform movement, that's just going to make him a lot better. Um, you know, I haven't seen that platform movement uh, quite yet though from Shadow. Uh, seems like he's having a couple of shortcuts. Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure, you know, from the looks of it, how advanced with the metagame he is, but um, I saw that B cancel and, you know, uh, B canceling with DK is also a quick way to kind of trick your opponent into thinking you're open. You'll see him charge up and just shoot out an aerial really quickly. Um, yeah, like you saw, he called it perfectly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, I don't usually see people using it as much as he does. Um, usually it's kind of, you know, a backup tool, not used very often, but seems to be using it really effectively just by using it so much. I, think, yeah, I like the potential mix-ups out of it. You know? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Uh, from a good theory standpoint, it's really, really intriguing to watch. And there's like a range of, you know, different moments where you can cancel that, so sometimes you can do it long, sometimes you can do it short. Um, you can even use it to cancel on the ledge. Uh, if you press Z, so... There's a lot of applications, to say the least. Now, I think Shadow's recovering a bit too high here. Um, DK's got invincible hands, and if you aim them correctly, uh, you can cancel out any attack that comes at him. And, and at least there, by going low, even though he didn't take any damage, he got a trade, which lets him get back on stage. Exactly, that's right. And that's another great point. You know, his hitboxes are, you know, they're not that high. So, see, he just his hitboxes were way above Pikachu, and unfortunately, that resulted in a death. That's a tough one. Shadow on his final stock. I mean, I, I don't think this is it yet, but if he keeps recovering high, it might keep. It. Okay. Oh, and that's gonna be game one. One zip for Kyle. This is this what you expected out of a Pikachu yeah. DK? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. Especially if you're not going to be integrating those platforms into your aerials. It, it gives Pikachu so many different openings, so many chances to consistently poke and prod at you. Yeah, right. so now we're going to be seeing actually a character switch here to Jigglypuff. Now, I personally think Jigglypuff does a lot better in this matchup. 
at least at, you know, the average level, because her down air combos are so powerful. Oh yeah. Um, unless you negate it with your up tilt, which is actually really tricky to time. Pikachu is uh, kind of fat, you know, as, a, as, a, as, a, as far as electric mice go. Uh, and uh, I think that Pikachu is one of those weights that just feels good to combo. So maybe if Shadow can get something like down air, an up tilt, even a grab, we could see him find the equal. Oh, situation. Jigglypuff has numerous zero to... I mean, you got to throw them up, not back, but uh, yeah, numerous zero to death combos. I mean, you can also play the edge guard game like this, which is... Oh, it messes up the up beat. And you'll see a lot of even top player Pikachu's mess up their recovery. Although it's not even debated, it's the best recovery in the game. If you mess up, it doesn't, you know, you can't use it. <laughs> yeah. It's like I have this incredible resource allocated to me, and I'm just going to flush it down the toilet. <laughs> Kyle, again, maintaining a one stock advantage. Yeah, it looks like he's in control again, this match. Very similar to the DK matchup. I'll tell you what, uh, seeing as I'm going to have to play the winner of, uh, of this match next, I'm really scared about Kyle. I, I, I have the biggest problem with Pikachu's. The way that Kyle is just so slippery overall, I think it might be able to give me a world of trouble going forward. Aw, oh, man. You've got your... Uh, it's going to be tough for you, man. Back throw. Can be enough. Even though Jigglypuff's light, I mean... Pikachu's back throw is very, very powerful. Probably one of the stronger grabs in the game. Yeah. Oh, we were talking about grabs earlier, and I think that like Pikachu's back throw, along with Ness's back throw, Donkey Kong's back throw, and Samus's back throws are probably like the strongest in the game. Yeah, it's really funny. Um, I believe it's Luigi, whose forward throw is actually stronger than his back throw. Huh. Which is... <laughs> I have no idea why they wanted to reverse it for Luigi, but... <laughs> it's Luigi, Yeah, man. he is kind of a... You know, opposite kind of character. It's, it's kind of a goober. <laughs> kind of a goober. Yeah. I think what I want to see from Shadow is more conservation of his jumps whenever he's forced off stage. Kind of save them close toward the ladder end. Use a lot more of those pounds to get closer to the stage, so you have mix-up opportunities when you're comes to actually getting onto the stage itself. Jigglypuff has a lot of options when she's recovering just because of all those jumps. So definitely, you know, mixing in some pounds would be a great option. Unfortunately for Shadow, I don't think he's able to make the most of Jigglypuff's, uh, you know, gleeful combos. Yeah, I agree. And this could... Oh, very close there. Okay. I think it was a much better recovery, though, that time. Yeah, now you're starting to see him mix those aerials. Aerials even give you some forward momentum, so... Watch Thunder. He's it's just a, I think he's just at too high for percent to really bring this back. I, I mean, if he... He's got to land some rest combos or something. And... Yeah. It oh, just feels like Kyle's holding all the cards and he's going to be advancing in the bracket. All right, man. I don't know. Are you playing right now? I'm playing right now. Good luck, man. Thanks, man.